Well, am I delighted to have you in Jane Sheedy of Ruby Rue Design. How are you? Thank you, Jenny. Thanks so much for having me. Oh my God. Absolute pleasure. I met you at a wedding and you were a bridesmaid. Was it three years ago now? And you weren't doing this then? No, I wasn't known for wedding stationery then. So I was kind of tipping away a friend's wedding stationery. Yes. You met me at Leanne's wedding. That's right. Uh, She got married to Pork in Cabra Castle during the awful time of... C word, let's not mention it. Let's pretend <laughs> People think it you mean happened. another C word there That's now. That's true, actually. COVID. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me. So you've got Ruby Rue Design. Ruby Rue Design, yes. So my website just launched last Thursday. Um, so I was working solely just through social media and messages back and forth, which was fab because it was so much nice interaction yes. with customers. And I really enjoyed that just to get a feel for what people wanted. Yeah. But Ruby Rue Design started, I God, I started this a good few years years ago. So my background is graphic design. Because I want to ask you all this before we start talking about what you do for weddings. Yeah. Tell me, like, where did you start with your design? Yes. Okay. Journey. Yeah. So it started, I went and studied uh, graphic design in college in, I think it was 2007 or 8. Yeah. And then I got a great opportunity with now my husband, but boyfriend at the time to move to Chicago. So we just said, why not? I just, seriously, I just finished college and I said, you know what, let's just do it. Yeah. I never traveled before. I was probably a little bit afraid. I would be kind of nervous. I like my comforts. I live in a little bubble. I enjoy that. You like home. I like home. (laughs) I like being around family and friends. We have a great family around. So I just said, Fecka, let's go, let's go, let's go away, let's travel. So I went over there knowing nobody, absolutely no one. So it was literally knocking on doors, trying to find work. So I had to start as an intern. So I got an amazing job in a company in Chicago called Utopic. It's a production house. Wow. And they have a design department. So it was unbelievable. It was a different world of design and production in an American kind of style. I felt like I was on the hills. So I was running. Yeah. So it wasn't as glam as people might think. So I was running running around doing lunches and I collect them. But that's where you you have to start. You have to start somewhere. Yeah. And I am a total grafter. I do get that from my mom and my dad. Yeah. I graft. I work hard. I've done maybe two jobs sometimes at once. Yeah. Like it's go, go, go. But I reap the awards then. You see, I I always say this and as my late dad used to say to us, Mm. if you don't work hard, you won't get anything. And nobody's going to give you anything for nothing. You don't get handed it. You need to learn. And then I also learned even with starting Ruby Rue Design, it is the person that shouts the loudest as well. And I can I'll go on to the social media part in a, in a, a little, little bit, while. but that's a huge comfort zone that I had to break through. Yes. So I started over in Chicago, worked in um, a production house, really enjoyed it. And then yeah. two years later, we decided to come home. We knew we'd always come back to Dublin. Yeah. And we're living in Malahide. I have three kids. Um, what ages are they? They're four, three and two. Oh, so bless. Well, that's hard work in itself. All go. It's all go. It's, it's amazing. I love yeah. being around them. I've always wanted to be a mom. I've always wanted to be with them as much as I can. So I really enjoy it. Yes. And then I'm also enjoying having my own business on the side as well. Oh my God. So now it is. It's fab. It's really good. Like that's the dream life. It is. That. So when you came home then? Yeah. So when I came where home. Where did you go? I, I was looking for jobs. I searched everywhere. Yeah. Um, I got a job with Dunn Stores. So in their head office um, as their grocery designer, grocery wow. and retail. Yeah, so it was fab. And I'd I, say that was exciting. It was. It was nice. It was in town and it was my kind of first time, my first role of, uh, my first job in town yeah. that I th- had the experience of going in and out on the bus. I had that, uh, the lovely lifestyle of after work hours, being able to stay in town. Brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Later went on to work at an agency then um, in Ballymount. Um, right. I was there, I think, for maybe a year and a half, two years. Next door to me in Ballymount. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so that was fab. And it gave me great exposure to different types of designs. So I worked with banks. I'd done a lot of work with banks. Um, we had we had some other huge clients. So it was kind of dipping in and out of different brands every day. So that was really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then later went on to work for three mobile in in um, town. That, that was is so that was probably my favorite job. I loved working there. Wow. Really fun place to work. A lovely studio. Lovely people. I worked with as well. So yeah. that, was, that was fab. And whereabouts in town was that now? Yeah, uh, right beside Samuel Becker Bridge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So again, a great location to go out. Brilliant. Great social life. Yeah, it was fab. <laughs> um, so then my husband and I got married. So we're, se- we're married seven years today, or not today? Sorry, we're married. Oh, seven- she's get it right. Yeah. <laughs> He'll kill you. <laughs> Seven years in July. Um, and we have three kids now. So wow. it was a decision I had to make. Did I want to go back working full time? Full time or 
for somebody else. I'm yes. working for a big company or did I want to go and take that massive step to work for myself, which was so, it was so daunting. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure it all out. And then after doing lots of friends, wedding stationery, and then I get customers. So I set up then a social media page yeah. advertising that I designed wedding stationery. I had people come, traveling down to Belfast to meet me. <sighs> to see my station and I was like me why do they want to meet me because they like your stuff but they liked my stuff so yeah. th- then I kind of start to understand well do you know what maybe what I do is good yeah I don't know if it's an Irish thing we're just we don't have much self belief it is an Irish I, thing it's like you know to, <laughs> you know you sort of worry if people are going to question your work yes. the whole time am and I good enough am I good enough I say that to myself quite a bit am I good enough I, and I'm doing weddings yeah. 20 years and I still it's say mental. am I good enough was that good are they going to like it <laughs> are they going to like their photos yeah, Even when I yeah. send off packages weekly to people with their invitations, I'm waiting for that reply. I'm like, oh my God, what's good? Do they enjoy, like, how much do they yeah. like it? 10 yeah. out of 10 was a fab. <laughs> do you know? I just, not that I require validation for what I do, uh, it's but there's nice nothing to get it. nicer just yeah. to get a nice comment yeah. or someone to say, thank you so much. You've really helped with the start of our wedding process, yes. that kind of thing. And you know something like wedding invitations, and I always say this, are really the start of the, the journey. journey. Yeah. And when somebody, you know, receives that wedding invite in the post, it's just so lovely because... It's a first impression yeah, of uh, your big day. That's it what is. I say. And it's the start of your love story unfolding. Yeah. yeah. So it is. It's massive. Yeah, it is massive. And I, and I, I definitely think the style of invite is also important because it should reflect it should. what the couple are about. It reflects their story too. Yeah. Do you know, and there's other ways you can bring in design if they have kids. Yes. You can bring in design of their kids. I've done silhouettes of children recently on invitations and it was so personal. It was oh gorgeous. Oh my God. They said that they, and the wording, you can change the wording to uh, resemble your family or your kids and yeah, mention yeah. maybe all the kids' names want to invite you as a guest to their mom and dad's wedding. Oh my God. That kind of stuff. So I did something like that recently and it was just so fun. Oh my God, that's so special yeah. and so personal. So personal. So then, you know, obviously you set up your social media pages. I mean, yeah, it, 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 Instagram can be daunting when you're starting so off and you're trying to get a good following and get people to like your yeah. page. But I am sure that people that you have done invites for was share, were sharing your page and telling people about you too. Um, to an extent, I do think social media, it's an amazing platform. Yeah. To, and like the trends, you, have to, you do have to keep up to date. Yes. And a new thing for me is showing my face on social media. I haven't really done that. Yeah. That's a new thing. I've only started doing it. Yeah. People think my it's name important. is Ruby. Oh. My name is Jane. I, I So... The name Ruby Roo Design, I didn't want to put my name out there. I'd, okay. I don't know. Maybe for I was afraid of backlash. I was afraid of people going, who does she think she is doing that? This kind of Stop. thing. I know. It's crazy when I think about it because I'd be telling my daughter, go out and do it. Grab yeah. the grab yeah. the bull by the horns and do it because Absolutely. you're well able and you're amazing at it. So I have to keep telling myself, just Jane, just take that leap. Yeah. It is hard to do. But it, it but is a lovely name, Ruby Roo. So it's a milestone. It's a wedding anniversary milestone. I think 40 years, isn't it? Ruby is 40 years. Yeah. So I was trying to think of something that's catchy because wow. you want to go onto a website or if you, after meeting me, you'd be like, what was the name of that website? Yes. And it kind of rolls off the, the yeah, tongue, I does. think. It Ruby does. Brew yeah. Design. So I don't know. I just thought of it one day. I was like, Ruby's a milestone. I don't want Jane Design. I don't want, I know, you know. So I was I like, know. Ruby Brew Design. And then for whatever reason, if I didn't, this is, I didn't even know if I wanted to do wedding stationery. So I was like, I'll keep it as that. Yes. And then we'll see down the road if it evolves or maybe into something else. It can be Ruby Brew. I don't know. Yeah. Something yeah, or yeah. other. Do you know? But it's a great name and, and it is catchy. So you so you've decided now that you're a wedding Taking, stationerist or whatever yeah, you call it. Yeah, wedding stationery designer. Um and how busy are you? Since launching, it's been quite busy. And yeah. even I've had such amazing support. Like my family are amazing, I have to say, and friends are so fab as well. And they've been able to just put it up onto their platform, onto their friends groups. Yes. So I've gotten such fab feedback feedback and I've had a lot of orders since the launch of the website. Amazing. Yeah. So I hired an amazing web designer who's based in London. Right. Um, and she deals with mainly women in business. So Excellent. she wants to see women in business exceed. Do well. Yeah. So this Don't is why all? I hired her. I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> I try, I actually, I have a web design background as well. Right. But at what point do you have to delegate? At uh, what point do you hand over? I but tried. you can't do it all. Do I, you know? I was hosting my website, Ruby Roo Design, the domain. Paying, I think, was at seventy euro annually, 
And this was going rolling like maybe three years. Yeah. And I just couldn't get my head. I couldn't finish it. I couldn't finish the project. Three yeah. kids, three young kids. Yeah, you're too busy. I was trying to do it in my spare time. I just couldn't. So at a certain point, I just said, you know, I need to hire someone yeah. and just spend that money Absolutely. and do it. Yeah. But I was also holding myself back a small bit because I said, once I do and I'm in it. Yes. You know, so I have to go yes. full Full throttle. Full throttle. Yeah. yeah so yeah. now yeah. it's done. I was a mess after the day after I launched. So I launched on Thursday. I was down in Seafield with my husband. We got married there. And I said, what a nice way to go down to Seafield where we got married. Absolutely. Hit live. And we're having afternoon tea. And God love my husband. He was sitting there. And I was like, sorry, one second, one second, one second. And I was messaging all my family groups being like, share this, share this competition. So I, was, I launched a competition to give away um, 100 invites and envelopes, which the winners announced today. Wow. Um, so I was down there and so we're having afternoon tea and it was so fab, but I just couldn't relax. As soon as it went live, I was yeah. like, oh my God. Because it's your business. Yeah. And it's my name on it. And you it's know? your name, yeah. you know, well, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Ruby. <laughs> it's Ruby. Yeah. Um, like I, I even find when I go away on holidays with my hubby, it's just really hard to switch off yeah. when you when you run your own business. Absolutely. It's just, I find it nearly impossible. Yeah. Although we are going away in a few weeks and I am going to try yeah. my best to yeah. stop. But even just, to have certain days days that you're like, okay, do you know, I'm not even going to look at my phone or maybe yeah. take off notifications on Instagram. And do you do that? Are you able no, to do that? No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, okay, not yet. there you go. No, I know. Preach the, <laughs> preach the, preach the, what do they call it? Preach the converted. Yeah. But I just, there's no way, I just can't do it. And I, I don't know. know. And I'm just so busy. It's your baby though. It's your it baby. Is. And a simple message back to a customer means so much to them. Oh, it does. And that's kind of what I even want to evoke that I am, it's a personable, um, uh, what would you call it? Experience. Yeah, and business yeah. that if you want to talk to me, I'm there to chat to you. Yes. you know, it's not a robot. You, can't, you don't have to go into Etsy exactly. and order your invitations on Etsy kind of thing. I'm there. Yeah. If you want to talk to me, I'm there to, to chat. So or to let's answer now questions. just talk. Uh, by the way, so I did a wedding last week. So Dean Rock married the lovely Neve McAvoy. Oh, she looks stunning. And Steve McAvoy. Yeah. Isn't she absolutely oh, she's gorgeous? She is the nicest girl she's ever. She's so sweet. Yeah. And I was doing my little flat layout and I came across the invitation and I said, Jesus, Neve, who did these? Oh. And I don't always say that about invitations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And she said, she told me exactly who did them. And I said, I'm going to have to reach oh. out to her. She needs to come on to my podcast. Oh God, I was... They were absolutely stunning. And I thought very well. the detail was unbelievable. I thought how you stuck them together was just unbelievable with the little, um, what do you call it? The it was like wax seal. Yeah. yeah. Stunning. Yeah. And then you open it and, and it was just, it was just beautiful. Oh, the whole you. experience yeah, of I opening really appreciate it and that. looking at it, it was beautiful. So that's how you're here oh. Now, um, so if I'm a client mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, oh my God, I love this person's work. What is the first thing that people do? I suppose get in touch with you. Yes. Um, do they have a clue in their head what you, type of invite they even want? Yeah. And I suppose that's why I'm there. Like a lot of people come to me and they don't have an idea. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Like they'd be like, where do I start? What information do I need? That kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas people know, other get customers will know exactly what they want, what yes. style, what color, what way they want it worded. Right. So you have kind of the two different type of customer. Okay. So I'm there to t have a consultation call. So you can order through my website if you don't okay. if you know what you want and you don't want to talk to me that's fine okay <laughs> order away it's an e-commerce website very transparent I've listed all my prices Brilliant. I know that a lot of websites you go for what you'll you'll look on their website and you'll look at their wedding station and there's no price list right so there's back and forth and you have to um, email them maybe for a price list everything is there on my website Brilliant. and um, do you find that handy then for you yes and I think that was the main one of the big things to create or to launch the website was a lot of people be coming through social media yes and saying to me have you got a price or how much for 100 invitations right but I offer so many different styles it's kind of like well what invitation are exactly. you looking for because I'm sure some would be more expensive than others yes, yeah. because of the work that goes into yeah them. or the size and stuff like that so yeah on my website there is pre-designed invitations so if you go on and you're like do you know that invitation's fab matches my colour theme to the wedding yes. I'm going to order 80 of those or 100 of those and there's a selection of envelope colours and I've also wrote on the message or the description, if you don't see the colour envelope yes. that you require to match your bridal theme, just contact me Absolutely. because I have a massive range. I work with a local supplier. Uh, they're unbelievable. They're called Paper Assist. Um, they they stock the best quality card. It's all sourced from Italy. Wow. So there's a, it's not like, I know some invitation designers, they'll offer just a plain white matte finish card. Right. I offer like a textured card or pearlescent. So it's a little bit more, the quality is a little bit more pre 
premium, let's say. Wow. Um, so it, it gives a nice imp- um, impression, say, to your guests when they receive their invitations. Yes. So um, the quality is outstanding. Because it's locally sourced, um, the time, the turnaround time might be a little bit quicker right. if you order with me. Um, so there's pre-designed invitations. Okay. If you don't like those pre-designed invitations or you want to tweak them or whatever, we can have a consultation call. So right. under bespoke stationery on my website, you can book a consultation call or um, you can fill out a form and okay. I will contact you. And then we'll go from there. We'll have a little chat back and forth and yeah. see maybe what you require. And then I can go away and design it for you. Amazing, because on some invitations you would see, like I was only editing a wedding before I came over here. Mm -hmm. And on this particular wedding invitation was stunning again. And they had like a sketch drawing of the venue. Mm -hmm. So do you do stuff like that as well? Yes, so actually I've got one here. I brought a few samples just to show show you. So this style here, so this is like a sketch of... um, Cabra Castle. Wow. Um, so there's a few different styles. Now that one actually, the the groom, he was messing around on, um, I don't know what tool he used and he sent me this screenshot. Yes. But I was able to incorporate it. So this, this is where maybe I can add a little bit of extra detail or Excellent. bespoke or whatever it may be to your design. I will yeah. work with you. So if there's stuff that you want to add in, but there is other style. I don't think I have them here. But I love I, here just on this one, Jane. Sorry mm. now for cutting across you there. I love the church. You've just got like a little symbol of the church mm. and it says underneath what time it is at. Mm. And it also has like a little kind of... Um, drawing of like you know a plate and a knife and a fork it's and an it has, or, yeah the order of events is nice and yeah it's quite popular now and as well time. And, and also the drinks reception that's amazing and dancing and yeah. you've just got music notes for that what time that's going to be at when it, that never happens on time by the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> but like that's just such a lovely simple way yeah. of including mm. the detail of the day on the invitation yeah. that's stunning and you know what the the invitations itself have just broadened the styles have broadened based on customers giving me not just feedback, but saying to me, I need more. I want to yes. add more. Yeah. So I will go away. Now, this has gone on a few years now. So I've kind of gotten to the point that there's quite a few, like a selection of styles that I offer. So this style is called a trifold, but you get you can add a lot of information to it. So if you want to add day two or accommodation or yes. even details, I, I was only designing last night for somebody and she's getting married in Fallon and Burn and she needs to give the venue the list of what everyone wants for their dinner. Right. So I I don't think all um, no, venues are like that. They don't. So no. she was able to put on her invitation that these are the options of main course, the starters, and get your tell the guests to reply with the RSVP what wow. they want. Yeah. So isn't that mad? That everyone's that? wedding is yeah, so yeah. different. So yeah, different. Yeah. But that's yeah. that's what I want to try help. Yes. Um, customers with take yeah. that stress away from them. Tell me what you need to put on it. Let me go away, design it and bring it back to you. And then, you know, obviously some, you know, they need RSVP cards. Mm. Do you supply, supply those as well? Do you know Not what? that most people send them back, <laughs> by the way. But you know, I was just about to say, that's really old school now. Yeah. So RSVP cards, I think out of the few hundred invites I've done now, yeah. I maybe have had two. Yeah. I'm not even joking saying that. So a lot of people put an RSVP line saying, please kindly reply, yeah. uh, respond. Here's our numbers, our email date. address. Yeah, numbers yeah. and emails and it's quicker. Yeah. But like, you know yourself, I'm yeah. even a victim of it. I don't really reply until I'm like, oh God, I never reply back to them. I know, yeah. I know. And you see, the thing also about RSVP cards are the bride and groom or the couple need to also put a stamp, stamp. on the RSVP. It's an extra cost. And it's an extra cost is, to them, yeah. you know, and each one and, is a euro. <laughs> and any, Yeah, you're right though. But anytime anyone, and you have to buy the envelopes then as well to post yeah. them back. Anytime if someone asks me what about RSVP cards and I'll tell them the honest truth. I'm like, it's an extra cost. Do you know, yes. it's extra work for me to design them. So to be honest, I just put a little line and yeah. you put your email and your mobile number. Absolutely. And that's enough. Yeah. And you know what? I think people prefer unless they're aunties and uncles and they're old school, I think they yeah. actually prefer sending a little text oh, and yeah. can't wait to... Yeah. Yeah. And they'll get lost as well. And sometimes as well, I'd say to cus- or to yeah customers, you can add the details on the back. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You yeah, can put the yeah. stuff on the back that you can just see accommodation options or RSVP options on the back of your invites as well. Yeah. You don't need extra detail cards if you, if you don't require them. Yeah. And tell me then, um, Jane, so do people come to you and say, this is the colour of our bridesmaids dresses? Mm. Like... Are there themes when it comes to stationery? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah so, totally. So do they do that? Do they say, well, yeah. we have a particular colour and we'd yeah. like this? Yeah, totally. So that would, even on a consultation call, I'll say to them, what style are you going for? Yes. Or if you have seen a lovely design elsewhere, I don't mind you sending me on a screenshot yes. of it. And I can resemble it in some way with my touch. Yes, of course. Um, 
and I can change it up whatever way you want. But the colour theme, yes. And I can bring that through, especially in floral design or if you don't like the floral, not a lot of people do. Yeah. You can keep it quite simple and we can do a nice typography. So that's yes. just the, playing around with the text. Yeah, yeah. And then the envelopes that I offer, there's a massive range of colours that I can yeah. show, I can give to our, my customers. So you can bring maybe the colour theme through the envelope. Amazing. It doesn't have to be, or an, even an envelope liner. You yes. know, you can put like a nice design inside the envelope. Like the um, envelope liner is stunning. It is love lovely. That. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. nice. And it adds a little bit of extra. Yeah. Do you know, it just, yeah, it emphasizes a bit of sparkle on your day. So that's kind of your stationery, you mm-hmm. know. And yeah. what else do you do? You were talking to me a few minutes ago about something that you wanted to do for me. I'm like, oh my God. Oh. So I own, I advertise uh, wedding stationery, but if anybody comes to me, I do work um, on the side for a few restaurants and yes. I'll design their menus and that kind of thing, but I don't advertise it. To be honest, I don't really have the time to advertise I know. it. I because know. then I'm opening up a whole new window of design. Yes. Um, um, but I just done, I, lo- I designed a lovely pull-up banner and I was just saying to you that maybe a really nice idea would be for your wedding candle or your wedding book. Yes. Maybe design like a big A1 sign um, with your QR code on it. Yeah. That the link brings you straight to your website Amazing. to purchase. Yeah. So like such a good idea. It is a good idea, isn't it? And yeah. I did a, I did a pull-up banner. So my next kind of thought would be to maybe target wedding venues yes. um, and see when their wedding fairs are be the vendor that's there to speak to um, brides and grooms that come in and I can tell them all about wedding stationery. I can help them in any way. So I pulled, I, sorry, I designed a pull-up banner that has a QR code. So if someone comes in and maybe they don't want to come over and talk to me and that's absolutely fine, that they can just take a little quick uh, picture of the QR code and that'll bring them straight to the website. Like that's ingenious. Yeah, Yeah, it's nice. It's trying to think outside the box, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, things change all the time. All the time. Now, fundamentally, there are things that don't change. But I think when it comes to design and themes, like Mm. they they definitely change Uh, all the time. Yeah, totally. And it's trying to keep up with it. And that's new for me, especially on social media, trying to see what the latest trends are put up a real like and I don't like speaking to the camera it's new for me it's totally outside my comfort zone I'm trying I don't know how I come across you know I'll give it a go don't over try just try and be yourself this is it and that's yeah and I know I want to be authentic as well yeah Um, so if I yeah I'll probably be a little bit more uh, front facing on the camera. Yeah. Um, you need to be. You have to be. I know. Because <laughs> it's such a challenging world out there, isn't it? And where do you get the time for all this? So you were telling me earlier, you have three children three and a kids. husband. Yes. And your kiddies are baby ages, really. They're very young. Like they're very young. Four, three and two is young. So do you just put particular days aside during yeah. the week for? Absolutely. Yeah. So I get great support from my mom. Um, and my mother-in-law as well is amazing. We live just around the corner from both parents. Brilliant. So we're so lucky. Yeah, my husband's very supportive as well. Yeah. So yeah, do you know what? I get I get help during the week, so I'll, I'll do my work then. Yeah. Um, and then in the evenings, like we were saying, you, you don't really get time to switch off because you're, you're all go. You're constantly you're go with go. kids or I'll be kind of checking orders, making sure that they're going through correctly or interacting with the printers and suppliers just to make sure everything's seamless. Yeah. So I think having a huge network of support from family is probably my my main help yeah. uh, and I'd be lost without them I really Absolutely. would and they encourage me every day and they yeah they're fantastic they really oh, are my yeah. husband's amazing he uh, he's really supportive so he's the he's the accountant so he's kind of the brains when it comes to numbers so yes he's like Jane it's okay you can do it yeah you can do it I'm like can I can I <laughs> there I, you go I pushing. colour in for a living <laughs> even when we're speaking to our accountant I'm like can you talk to him I don't want to talk I don't know what you're saying <laughs> so tell me then if when somebody puts in their order and they say you know Jane we love it to go ahead with the order yeah. how long does it take then so I will design the stationery with the couples first of all and then I'll email the proofs back Yes. And it's only when they give the final go ahead, I'll proof check it. I make sure they proof check it because there's nothing worse if there's a typo. Oh my God. And it's happened. It's happened. I'm only human. You know, it's happened and we just had to reprint them. But sure, that's life. And I've learned from that. So um, the proofing stage goes back and forth until they're 100% happy. If they're not happy, we'll just relook at it again. Yes. More often than not, they just want an extra few flowers or a few flowers taken out. Yes. Um, When they give the go ahead and we've decided on colours of envelopes, the order is placed and it can take up to two weeks right. turnaround time. So that's what I will say that's to... That's kind of good though, It isn't is it? good. Now, if it's a bespoke order and they're looking for something a little bit more extravagant, yeah. um, it does take longer. Right. Um, and if I actually had someone, I just posted um, invitations to America today. She's wow. getting married. Yeah, so fab. Um, America. I know. Look at you. I've had America <laughs> and Canada. I'm like, are you wow. sure you don't want to get someone over there? <laughs> um, so yeah, I post off invites today and she's, she seems fab. Now her husband's oh Irish and they're getting married in Cabra Castle. 
Wow. So I posted them off today. So yeah, it's fab. It's That's just, amazing. Yeah, it's so lovely. Yeah. Um, so that would have taken a bit longer. Right. You know, and she wanted envelopes printed. I don't offer that on the website, but it's an option. Okay. You know, and there's probably a lot more stuff that I can add. And I will down the line. That is lovely actually to add that. It because is. Because... Uh, that's a bit of a nightmare for for couples who to just write it all. to write it all. I know, and maybe they don't want to write it, and they want to put a label on it. But sure, you're like, who else would you be going to? Uh, yeah, yeah, Me? yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So they obviously have to send you all the addresses and stuff. Yeah, and like, what I suppose is the 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 largest amount of invites that you've had to do? Um, probably that American one, which was 160. Yeah. Because you have to take into account, you don't need, so I think she's 200. Actually, Neven Dean's is probably one of the largest. Yeah. I think there was about 250 at their wedding. There was? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I photographed every one of them. I, and I said to Neve, I was like, are you sure you need that many? And I was like, you only kind of go 70, 80% of your guests because yeah. more than one person's naturally going to be on the invite. Yes. She's like, no, no, Jane, there's a, a few football teams. Well, do you know something? So, so Neve and Dean, so Dean, Rock obviously plays for Dublin up the dubs yeah. they won the Sam McGuire <laughs> amazing um, what a wedding oh, by the way fab. it was absolutely yeah, incredible she looked, stunning. She, they looked, did. Yeah. she looked absolutely stunning and do you know what happened I don't know if you heard about this during the ceremony no it rained oh yes I did and they were outside yeah. and it only rained for a couple of minutes thank god I have my Jenny McCarthy umbrellas in oh, my yeah. bag I was like yeah that's gold yeah. I'll use those Give on them my to website everybody yeah <laughs> um, but it was just such a fun wedding it yeah. really I'd was it was great yeah, fun yeah, yeah great it was fun starting to really rock she's now so when I was relaxed leaving. she's so relaxed Neve as well I remember even just before oh. her wedding I was like Neve. Um, so I can't remember exactly what month and I was like Neve, is your wedding in August and she's like yeah I was like do you I think it might have been June it was June and I, <laughs> I messaged so her neat. I messaged her and I was like Neve, no no, you, no um, pressure you don't need to order with me like you don't need to get your invitations yeah, but from you me but you still want to come with but me but do you do you want them and she's like Jane I just haven't had a minute I was like do you know what call over we'll go through so she came over yeah. to the house and we just went through all the details I was like let me just take that pressure from you yes. because it's an endless list oh absolutely and like maybe you'd be kind of the first point of call when it comes to wedding photography yes. that's kind of the first thing you nearly tick as well as the venue oh, listen, as well I, as the, I gave her loads of, of, of people go, go with this person go yeah. with that person because she knows that obviously I wouldn't you need put her, her wrong yeah, yeah. but I have to say she was so relaxed but the one thing and somebody said it to me only today in the studio because they'd realised I'd photographed their wedding what would have happened if they had a replay no, oh, what? I know. What I would have happened? I was literally thinking they of wouldn't this. have been able yeah. to do the wedding. Yeah, I know. So it's bonkers. Thankfully, isn't it? it didn't happen like that. It all went to plan because I don't know what the K Club would have done. Oh, yeah. Anyway, do you know it all thing? works out, doesn't it? It all works yeah, out. And they yeah, looked stunning. Oh, they were absolutely yeah. stunning. Um, so, so you said that there are uh, wedding invites on your website that people yeah. can order, mm -hmm. but if they don't want to order those, they can go with the bespoke ones. What is the most popular? The bespoke ones or the ones that are, you know are just what? there? I think if some people really care about their invites yeah. and it does create a love story for you and your partner. Yes. And if you want to spend that money, a lot of people get it gifted. So their parents are gifting them the, the money to get their invitations and their stationery or maybe a family member. So they have the budget there. Yes. If someone doesn't have the budget there, they can go for something quite simple. A single, yeah. single sided invitation. Yes. It's, it's cheaper than adding embellishments. So embellishments would be like the Valium jacket here. I love that. that. I love it too. It's, so lift that up now and let me see. And this has the wax seal that closes it. So I it. love this. Yeah. I just think there's something really special about this. And I love the fact that this is see-through yeah, and there's it, so much gorgeous detail. So the detail. transparent volume wrap that goes around, it just adds that something extra to the invite. Oh my God, it's stunning. And then I love this. And there's extra detail you know? cards. Yeah, so you can, kind of, you can have it without a detail card or you can have it just on its own yes. with the Valium wrapped around it you, yeah. you really can do anything you want and do you know what I love um, Jane I love the feel of the card yeah. that card is gorgeous yeah. isn't it's it it's high quality so it's Italian card yeah so who would have thought you get a card from Italy but no I didn't think that yeah, at all this company that I use we actually he I should say and his his company make the envelopes so if I want an envelope teeny tiny they're right. made. He has the machines to make them handmade. Stop. So they'll do anything for me. Yeah. Well, that's gorgeous. And does that just envelope even, go with that? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I love? So this envelope is, what would you call that material there now? It's like pearlescent. Yeah. It's called, it's a misty rose pearlescent stock. Yeah. So there's a nice trans, or there's a nice shimmer off it. And what's lovely is it, it really goes with that invite it so well. It doesn't it? Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So the, the sage green and the, this kind of gold or this kind of pinky blush colour is probably one of the, two of the most popular colours. Yes. Um, Especially it goes the sage green. Everything. Sage green is probably the most popular. I am seeing yeah. that everywhere at the moment. Yeah, it's you stunning. Know? Um, so they're actually small, save the dates that I did. You don't... So 
other things that I offer as well yes. as wedding invitations is called on the day stationery. Right. So it's um, the likes of mass booklets. So here's a yeah, so mass I wanted booklet. to ask you about mass booklets as well. So this is a 12 page mass booklet that helps your guests follow the ceremony. Yeah. And I also love you can add your wedding party inside. So you might turn up to one of Martin's friends' weddings and you're like, yeah. oh, I don't know the mom's name or I don't know the dad's name. You can have everything inside. And it's, it's so just, lovely. It's lovely because you can kind of see what the names are and then you can go up and be like, oh, hi, Mr. <laughs> Whoever it may be. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Pretending you knew them. Yes. Um, so it does have a nice bit of detail inside it. Yes. And then you can leave a little thank you message on the back. So the back page of this, you can see there's a thank you message oh my God, on the that, back like, as well. That is just so gorgeous. And I love um, thank you messages yes. on the back of mass booklets because... You thought of your guests in that What way. I will do um, very often is photograph it and mm. put it at the end of their wedding that's images so gorgeous. that like it's kind yeah. of like a goodbye and thank you. Yeah, um, that. But that's really, really strong. I love, I love mass booklets. Now, some people don't do them which is fair and enough. that's fine. If you have the budget to do it. If you have the budget yeah. to do it, it's such a nice thing to do. I agree. And if you've got like <laughs> Dean and Neve, if you had 250 people oh gosh, or whatever yeah. it was, how many mass booklets should you get printed based on, say say, say it's 150 people. Yeah. How many mass booklets would you... Do you um, know what? I kind of go back and forth on this. So I think it'd be similar to invites. You only need about 70%. Yeah. But at the same time, you don't need to cater for everybody. Yes. If you want to do 100, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. If you have the budget to get 150, get 150. Yes. A lot of the time, the mass booklets are lovely and really nice keepsakes. So people will actually take them they home. They do take them home. Especially family members as well. Yeah. So I think it's really a personal choice. Yes. If you have the budget there, maybe get 70% of your guests. Yes. If you don't, maybe go 50%. Okay. And that's plenty, do you yeah. know. So you were saying kind of on the day stuff. So that's yes, the so last booklet. And what, what other on the day stationery can you do? So like the A1 sign that I mentioned for you, yes. the welcome signs are yeah. also a big one. So you can have a like a big welcome sign to put onto an easel. Yes. So if you ask your um your venue if they have an easel or something to stand up a big A1 welcome sign. Yes. Or people do table plans or the order of events. There's yeah. a few different things you can do on these big signs. Yes. Um, so that would be another thing. The mass booklets. I also offer trifold cards. So they're kind of a simpler version of the mass booklet. Yeah. Um, and they fold nicely, kind of the way the invites fold. And yes. you can just have those in like a basket at your at your church Lovely. or your ceremony. And do you ever do those? Um, so very often now, and it's happening quite a bit actually, where the couple are getting the priest or the celebrant to say, just before the aisle walk starts, can everybody put their phones away, first of all? Mm. And second of all, um, can just make sure that none of this goes on social media if you do sneak out your phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, do you have to do any of those Little kind of signs. signs? Yes. Now, I don't advertise it on my website. Yes. But... I get people asking me for them. Do you know, they'll yes. message me and just say, can you do up this little sign for me? Yeah. Or little signs. I know even for your weddings, you, maybe you get someone to do like an order of event for the morning yes. for makeup and hair and that kind of stuff. Do you do those as well? Yeah. So I they, love it. Do you know what? And it, they're they're cheap to do for me as in, I'll just throw it in there. Do you know, yeah, if someone yeah, asks yeah. me to do it, I'll throw it in there. It's, yeah. it's a simple and they can just frame it themselves. Brilliant. Yeah. So Brilliant. maybe Brilliant. that'll be another add-on that I'll have when I you order your station. I you think give it me an should idea. be. Yeah. I think it should be. <laughs> and those kind of signs um, about, you know, don't step out into the aisle phone and all the rest of it. So important as well, aren't they? They are important, right? But I often wonder, are do people read them? Are they in the right place at the end of the mm. aisle? You know, I often say to Amy, who, you know, works with me on weddings, if that was somewhere else, where else could it be? Um, so it, they really should put it... And, and, no offence, boys, right? <laughs> but it's generally, that job is generally given to the groomsmen. Mm, yeah. I'm like, no one's going to see it I there. Know, yes. Or the mass <laughs> booklets and they just don't arrive to the church. That's yeah. happened as well. That happens. You've no idea the mm. amount of times that happens. Oh, yeah. And then the I stress. Can imagine. And then if the house is too far away from the church, it's too far to go There's back. There's no point getting them, yeah. Yeah, I've had to go back for mass booklets. Oh, stop. Yeah. Um, so I always say this to the couple. I have a Zoom call with them every, you know, every single couple I'd have a Zoom call and I go through the logistics of the day and it's one of the questions I ask. Mm. So are you doing mass booklets on the day? Yes, who's bringing them to the church? And mm -hmm. um, a lot of the time the bride will get a brother to drop them to the church or... A, a sister or whatever just so that they're there yeah I know and they probably still forget <laughs> yeah well no generally when they're in the bride's house they don't get forgotten yeah, yeah. you know um, should, the, should the lads sometimes the forget their yeah. bloody couplings yes you or, know? The, or the green the, the, the booklet oh, yeah clear. that's how many weddings I've gone to now that kind of that can't be forgotten no. because if that's forgotten the marriage is not legal in Ireland no, it, it has be to be signed to their hands leaving yeah. yeah I'll tell you what I've noticed about that green book so the green book is your marriage registration piece 
peeps. OK, and you need to register your marriage within three uh, months of getting married because that's the minimum amount of time they need. Do you know some people don't know that? Well, I'm saying it again. It's yeah. in my. I, I wrote a wedding book, and yes. it's in my wedding book. Yes. And everything you need to know about getting married, from a legal point of view, is in there too. So yeah. buy the wedding book and read it. <laughs> um, but the green folder, when they're finished with it, I always take that and say, "Who can I give this to? Mm-hmm. Who's going to mind it?" Because it then needs to be posted into the marriage and registrations office, yeah. so that your marriage is documented yeah. and legal. Um, yeah. I have put it, I've had to put it into the front of my camera bag on so many occasions. I remember doing a wedding down at the Europe Hotel down in Killarney. Wow. And the groom's man was walking, the best man was walking around to this green photo. And I was oh, like, geez. we're doing our photos. Oh, it's fine. So I'm not letting it out of my hand. I was like, would you not put it up in your bedroom? Uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or a safe or, or something. Or give yeah. it to me. So I actually ended up, like I'd say three or four times I saw it on the tops of hedges oh, and he kept forgetting to lift it back up so I got Just whoever was with me give me that bloody I think it was Jen with me give me the green folder uh, I put it down the front of my camera bag oh. and I drove home with it oh stop <laughs> you didn't I hope it but wasn't it did, far it oh, didn't gosh. matter well I mean they were they were Dublin a couple but they were getting married in Killarney oh, and my God. the father of the groom came up on Monday so it was fine I was oh. able to give it to oh, him so um, but like I drove home with it after giving out to the groom for, for putting it on oh. every head that he could absolutely no. find, you know. So these things Nightmare. happen it at weddings. Happen, yeah, and little things like this happen at weddings. And they, well, maybe not that. They do yeah, get, they get they missed. Do. In in most occasions, they do yeah. get missed. Absolutely. And I always say to, to couples on a wedding day, if something small has happened, let it go. Yeah. And stop telling everybody about it. Yes. Because now everybody's yes. going to know about it. Or and if your friend's getting married and you see something that's happened, don't tell them. Just don't say don't anything. Don't tell them. Yeah, it's yeah, not they necessary. Don't need to know. No, don't cause And stress. I think, you know, especially for a bride, like the emotions are high anyway on the day. And everything, you know, is exaggerated. Really calm. So, you know, they need to just kind of yeah. let it go. And I mean, enjoy it. Yeah, it's enjoy done now. Day. All the work is done when it comes to the wedding day. Yes. Just enjoy the day because it flies by. It goes by in the blink of an eye. And I always say to couples, the reason why it flies by is that you've got so many people to talk to on your wedding yes, day. Yes, you know, yeah. like Neve and Dean. So let's talk about them again because we both know them. Yeah. Um, I, they're my best friends now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, they got loads of time at their drinks reception. Yeah. You know. It's so important, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And even just do quick pictures. You don't need tons and tons of photos. No. Get to your party. Yes. You've spent so much money on yeah. it. Yeah. Like I was speaking to somebody only recently and she's a makeup artist and she got married last year over in Portugal. And she said, Jenny, I had everything organised within an inch of its life. And she said, when it came to the photography, she said the photographers took herself and her hubby off and, you know, photographed them 55 million different times. And she said, like, you want a few photographs yeah. of yourselves, mm. obviously. But we look at each other every day. Yeah. And she said there was no picture of her with her mom. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you so that, you, you forget you? Yeah. that. But you don't need to be gone all day long having photographs taken. Like an hour maximum should be it's the amount plenty. of it's plenty yeah. well when you take into consideration your family photographs look as much as people would say to me the whole time I just really want the day documented I go no problem yeah so do you want to photograph your mom yeah 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 okay yeah do you want to photograph your dad oh god yeah absolutely yeah and what about your siblings oh well absolutely yeah, yeah. and what about your husband yeah so you want those photos they are important but after your family photos after your bridal party photos and your couple shots you want to be able to go and enjoy, enjoy. the party. Do a quickie. You know? yeah. yeah. That's why they need to hire you. Do That's a quickie. It. Oh, listen, I'm like misorganised. Yes, And are. tell me then after the wedding. So the day comes and goes and your invites have gone out and everybody loves them. Yes. What about the thank you cards? The so thank you cards are the next kind of uh, option let's say or the next point of um, contact with me yes you'll come to me I offer 10% off on thank you cards if you have nice. ordered from me That's so if amazing. you've ordered any stationery or if you ordered invitations from me I'll offer 10% as a returning customer um, for the thank you cards amazing. and it's so important to show the photography I actually had a bride yes. in a room recently and they were saying to me let's just put thank you on the front I just want to get the thank you cards out and I was like but did you hire a photographer and they were like yes did you get any photographs back? And they're like, no. I was like, message your photographer. Yeah. You're now a month out. Message mm-hmm. and just ask, can you have two, three yes. of the two of you for your thank you cards? Because it yeah. looks so fab. Yes. And it shows the kind of the joy that was had on that day. Absolutely. And as well, if you take out a thank you card out of the envelope and you're looking at the front of it, you automatically don't know who it's from. Exactly. So I always say, get get fabulous photos, email them to me and I'll incorporate them in some sort of shape yes. um, or form onto the thank you cards. And that way, 
you, you're nearly guaranteed they're going to keep that thank you card. They are. It's going to be on your fridge. Photograph. It's going to be on your mantelpiece, yes. whatever it may be. And you can put a little message on the inside. So I do offer, if you want text on the inside, yeah. I can put the text inside. Now, it is nice to handwrite yes. high cards. Yeah. It might take you a while. It does take a bloody <laughs> If you have 258 guests. Yeah. <laughs> Neve, oh, Neve will be there all day I'm, actually, I'm doing her thank you cards oh my god are they so doing maybe, thank you cards maybe we'll do um, a message inside yeah <laughs> but she is I mean as as laid back as she is she is organized she is so yeah, organized yeah, she's yeah. just so fab so yeah, fab yeah. Um, so yeah thank you cards are a lovely kind yes. of token just to say thanks for the appreciation of coming to my wedding and for your kind gifts or whatever yes. it may be yeah, um, yeah. and then you have a lot of people that don't go to your wedding that have also given gifts and cards you still Absolutely. want to thank them of course and show your photos of the day if they couldn't make it for whatever reason and then tell me Jane one of my last questions yeah. to you so with thank you cards is there a timeline on thank you cards like what is the latest you can be sending out a thank you card from your wedding yeah so I actually had someone that got married last March that just ordered thank you cards I don't know yes. I think do it when it's quite fresh like, like, you've just, like March is gone or March no, 12 months ago 12 months ago <gasps> yeah that's so that's late. quite late it is that's quite late, late. Yeah. so I reckon maybe three months because you're waiting what's the time um, turnaround time of photography well actually at the moment if anyone's looking and your photos are delayed yeah. it's because it's so busy it's, it's always busier during the summer Jane course, so like yeah. I do like 55 million weddings as you probably yes, know yes. Um, so I would have always said like the latest would be 16 weeks but I'm editing a wedding that's at good, the moment yeah. and yeah but 16 weeks like that's that's a few months yeah Um. I'm editing a wedding at the moment and it's just gone beyond that by about a week. Okay. So I'm probably about two weeks delayed. Okay. And it's only because it's so busy. And I'll tell you why it takes so long. Mm. I edit all of my own photos. Oh, wow. And so I'll photograph the wedding. I'll go and save it once. Then it goes up to the cloud and it gets onto my heart. So it's saved three times. Wow. Um, so I'll go back and I'll edit that when it's when it's in the queue. Like they're all kind of date order. Mm-hmm. Uh but I want to cull it myself. So I will go back through the wedding again, every single image, and there's thousands of images wow. to go through. So for example, with the family scenario, I'll put that my camera on motor drive and I'll take 15 shots in two seconds. You, you saw how quick I yes, am. Yes, yes. Um, lightning. Yeah, like lightning and then move on to the next <laughs> yeah. thing. But those 15 um, shots would take like two seconds or three seconds wow. to take. So it's going I'll, through them I'll go through time, those yeah. 15 shots of the same image yeah. and I'll pick the best yeah. one or two. So I'll have those 15 shots on screen and I'll go through and pick the best four, pick the best three, and then I'm down to two and then I'll leave two oh, in. Wow. So th- that, it takes, that time. takes time. It does take time. So I do that myself because yeah. I'm a bit controlling. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with that. My husband's yeah. some control freak. Um, and then what happens then after that is that they have to get in colour corrected. Yeah. So I want them all colour corrected in colour and colour corrected in black and white. Wow. And then we do a mix for the slideshow. So I'll take out a little bit from the day. Yeah. And we'll put all of that to a piece of music. Then they go, then there's a gallery made. So that whole process like takes a little while. So much work involved. And that's why I'm a little bit delayed because yeah. I do, I do all that myself. So much love goes into it. Yes. Especially when you're doing it all yourself. I admire yeah. that. I think that's fab yeah. that you do it all. And I do know that there's a lot of people out there that don't edit their own photos and, mm. and fair enough, like if they don't have the time yeah. um, or they'll get somebody else to colour correct them. Mm. Um, they'll get somebody else to put up the online gallery. We just do it all ourselves in house, you know. That's fab, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just had to ask that question about yeah. the thank you cards because yeah. I get asked yeah. it. it can vary I think as soon as they get if even a few shots I don't yes. know if that's even a thing but if they get a few shots I could work with that Yes. or I mean if they have a good photo I don't know from granny taking it on her phone yeah. and they just want to get it out for whatever reason quickly yes. they could do that as well and maybe wait until the professional ones come back and order a bigger batch I don't know Absolutely. but it is kind of like that time frame of like within the six months let's yeah. say after your wedding so you go from save the dates to wedding invites yes to mass booklets, on to a sign station. you want to put down the end, to placements on the tables, everything. to cards, everything. So you everything. are a one-stop shop. And I have to say, your work is stunning. Thank you so I much. I would never have anybody in here unless I would use oh, them myself. I really appreciate it. Honestly, I really appreciate you even asking me to come oh, in. Jane, well, I wouldn't I was like, have, when I seen your message, I was like, oh my gosh, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure me? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, really are there grateful. any tips that you can give our couples? Do you know what? I'd say plan ahead. Yes. Don't leave things last minute. Because yeah. as you said, it takes time even for what you do it takes time for me Yes. so if you're telling me your story your background and what like we have couples that one lives in Australia and one lives in Ireland and they want to show that in their invites absolutely I have to design that that takes time so that's a bespoke stationary order So give yourself time. Yeah. Six months out is the time that you send your invitations. Six months out. Six months out. If you're From the wedding. From the wedding. But so that means if, they have to be in your hand to post in the post box. So you should post your invites 
Six months before the wedding? Yeah. Okay, yeah. but there's a question that's very, very yes. interesting. Yes. Some now, people don't Old post school them. would have been kind of three, four months, but yeah. I think just things have changed as people live in a way, yes. that kind of stuff. You can do it three, four months beforehand. That's fine But if too, you're after sending them a save the date and they know when the wedding is? Okay, that could be different. Yeah. Okay. So if you said, and people would say send, save the dates a year out kind of yes. thing or year and a half out, whatever it may be, yeah. because a lot of people live away or if it's sure. an abroad wedding and they need to give notice kind of thing, then you can send your invites three, four months before. Okay, but six months. But if you want to save yourself money, don't send save the date. Send yes. them out six months before, just to okay. give yourself that bit of time, or just start planning it. Okay, ahead of time. Think about your color themes, and um, book a consultation. Call me. I'll go through everything. I'll take the stress away. I had someone on the phone yesterday, and she was like, "I don't know what I want." I was like, "That's okay. That's why you've come to me. So yes. tell me what it is you have, or what color themes." Uh, venue times that kind of stuff and yeah. I'll, I'll give you some ideas and brilliant yeah I'll email it on so yeah brilliant yeah. you're so helpful thank you yeah. oh my god yes. well Jane I wish you every bit of success thank you so much you're such a hard worker you're so bloody talented at what you do thank you I really appreciate um, it the best of luck thank thanks you. a million thanks Jenny thanks so much